Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Postman Pat is collecting the post at Garner Bridge Post Office. What's this? A new poster? Garner Hall open to the public? Well, bless me. Mind you, it'll be a lovely show. It's a fine house. Oh, but Pat, said Mrs Goggins, just think of all the cars and coaches and the litter. Oh, and... Miss Hubbard did ask particular for you to drop in and have a word. I don't know what she wants. Mm, I expect it's something to do with this opening of Garner Hall. I'll not forget. Cheerio. Bye, Pat. Cheerio. All right, Jess. I'm coming. You never know. Miss Hubbard might have some cream for you today. But I hope she doesn't want a hand with her blooming bees. I remember last time. Pat was still wondering what Miss Hubbard could want. No bees about anyway. Come in, Pat. Where are you, Miss Hubbard? In here, Pat. Just come through. There were piles of paper everywhere. Oh, now where has the fellow got to? Goodness me, Miss Hubbard. Hey up, there's a draft. Whoops! Oh, I've made a right mess. Oh, for heaven's sake, man, shut that door. Don't worry, I'll pick these up. Whoops! Sorry. Oh, but don't make the place untidy, Pat. Just put that pile where you can. I wouldn't like to sort this lot out. I'm just getting ready for the grand opening of Garner Hall. The Major has asked me to show people round, and I must find out all about the old times in Greendale. Oh, yes, I saw the poster. Well, I don't know if much has happened in Greendale. No famous battles, no ghosts, nothing like that. Ah, don't be so sure, Pat. You never know what you'll find in some of these old papers. Tell you what, Pat, there's one thing I would like to see. Folks say Granny Dryden has a very old diary that her granddad kept, and he was head butler at Garner Hall a hundred years ago. Now, if you were to ask her, she might just lend it. It's worth a try. I'll ask her when I call with the letters. I feel sure she'll let you have it. Do please ask her. I'll take good care of it. I'll pop in when I finish my letters and let you know how I get on. Oops, I nearly forgot your post. Cheerio. Good man. Bye for now. Pat was on his way. 
His next stop was at Ted Glenn's. Hello, Ted. What's he doing? Making a right clatter. Ted! Hello, Pat. <laughs> you gave me quite a fright. I didn't hear you come in. Look at this. Just like new. All ready for the grand opening. I know. I've gone a haul. A knight in shining armour. What do you reckon, Pat? I've always fancied trying this stuff on. Well, now's your chance. I'll bring a tin opener next time I call, just in case you get stuck. <laughs> Here's some mail to go with it. Cheerio! Ta-da, Pat! Pat was on his way. His next stop was at Granny Drive. Now then, what, what was it that Miss Hubbard wanted? Hello, anybody at home? Ooh, Pat, I'm glad to see you. I've just been sorting out some old stuff. There's this diary. Come and have a look. Eee, it takes me back seeing these old pages. Wilfred's very words. Just as he wrote them all that long time ago. I never saw anything like it. Do you think I could borrow it so that Miss Hubbard could make a few notes for when she shows folk around? Well, I can't make it out properly with me glasses, so you might as well take it. Uh, I'll take great care of it. I promise. Bye, Pat. Bye, Granny Dryden. Cheerio. It was time for Pat to be getting along to Garner Hall. Miss Hubbard would be waiting for him and the precious diary. Garner Hall at last. Major Forbes was at the door looking out for Pat. Come along, Pat. I see that you've got the diary. Miss Hubbard's waiting for you. Pat, good man, and the diary. Now, let me see. There must be something here. Where do I put this lot? Over there, Ted. Near the chimney. Oops, makes a right clatter, this stuff does. Oh, how can I write the history of Garner Hall with this racket going on? Come and sit in the library, Miss Hubbard. You'll find it nice and peaceful in there. Oh, thank you, Major. So kind. Ted seemed to think the suit of armour was a new kind of jigsaw puzzle. Just about my size, I reckon. Mm, let's see. <laughs> I'd better leave you to it, Ted. Bye. Is that you, Pat? Um. I was on my way out. Just about to leave, Miss Hubbard. I want to show you something. Uh, something wrong? Pat, what am I going to do? Look at these diaries. Well, what's wrong with them, Miss Hubbard? Wrong? Wrong, Pat? There's not a thing in them that I can put in my story of Garner Hall. They're just... just boring, Pat. Hmm, it was a nice day today. 
Went fishing, caught three trout, <laughs> went to bed early. Well, yes, I see what you mean. Nothing very historical about that. Historical? Oh, Pat, it makes me feel hysterical. Look, I haven't got a single note on my paper, not a thing. Meanwhile, Ted seemed to be having trouble with the armour. Help, Pat! Get me out of here, I'm stuck! Get your tin opener, I, I can't see where... Ah. God. You can't leave me like this. Ooh, boy. Mm. Ooh. Are you there, Pat? This armor's a bit stiff. Ooh. Pat, come and see. There's some monster going straight through the flower beds in a suit of armor. Look. Let's have a look. You're right. A suit of armor. <laughs> and I think I know who's in it. Hmm. Oh, Bayek. Oh. Ah. Oh, me back. Where am I? You can't leave me like this. Get me the fire brigade. What's this in front here? Ow! Oh, blue. Did you say, Pat, did you say my suit of armor, eh, what? Out here, in the flower beds, parading about? Uh, yes, Major. It was... It should be in the hall. I know, Major, but l look at your flowers. All crushed and spoilt. Badgers, foxes, deer, no stopping the blighters. That's what it is. <laughs> Sounds more like an elephant, Major. A whole herd of them, if you ask me, Pat. Miss Hubbard was waving like mad from the window. I think it's gone back inside. Come along, Major. Which way? This way! Follow me! Charge! Where is he? Dashed if the fellow's disappeared again. I'm sure I heard something in here. But the suit of armor! It's gone! What was that? Sounds as though you've got mice. <laughs> Big metal ones. It came from behind that door. If only I could see where I'm going. Hey, look at this. A door. And a secret passage. Hello, suit of armor. Hello, everybody. Glad to get this helmet off. Got stuck. Couldn't see a thing. It's so dark in here. But what's this? I found an old book in your secret cupboard, Major. Good fellow. Might be something Miss Hubbard could use. Something for me? Oh, what have you found? Old papers. What luck. Just what we need. Hmm, yes. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> Incredible. Just the stuff. And at the last minute, too. Very lucky. You never know what skeletons there might be in an old cupboard. Uh, uh, yes, well, um, time for tea, eh, what? Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. 